Okay, so this is my uh, test site where I just throw things together and try things out. So what I'm trying to do is sort of hack the uh, OneNote notebook class, sorry, the OneNote class notebook creator, the same way that we have done at Appleby College. Uh, we have all of our files on SharePoint on premise, and so we have a lot more flexibility to play with things and have a lot more permissions within uh, our OneNote binders than you do on the OneNote class notebook. So what I tried is, for, for the love of God, don't do this without testing it uh, severely on your own notebooks. Uh, don't do it on an existing class notebook until you play with, a lot, with it a lot. So here's my site that I put the OneNote class notebook on and I'm going to up to the gear and go to site contents. And there's always a folder uh, for the OneNote class notebook and you'll have a lot more items than you think you would expect it to be in. This, this notebook has only one student, but because of all the content that the notebook actually has, it's actually quite extensive. Uh, so the menu, uh, I go to settings, and I'm looking for permissions for this document library. And it says, some items of this list may have unique permissions. And that's what we want to see. We want to see those unique permissions for some of the items within that folder. And here's what we're looking at. Here's my test student. So on my test student, I want to manage permissions. And here I can get rid of him. So he's contributing right now. So I've got my test student open here. And this is his test student page, uh, test student section, sorry. And there's his handouts. And I can write, this is the test student logged in. Uh, this is the test student. So he has editing rights right now. and. Uh, I'm going to get rid of those editing rights. So I'm going to unenroll him basically from the class. So he's got contribute right now. I'm going to select the student, edit his permissions, and give him just read access. I think it's important not to delete the student because you know he did do some work um, and he should be able to go back and look at it at any time. I click OK. He now only has read access. I'm just going to go back to the OneNote that he's in. Uh, right now he can still edit it because I haven't refreshed the screen, but as soon as I refresh the screen, yeah, I will leave the page. Patience being a virtue. Okay, go back to test student. Go back to handout. And now he can, I'm trying to type here, um, and it won't uh, uh, won't let me type. He only has read access to this page now. I can go back in, uh, go back in, edit his settings, give him contribute back, refresh the screen, back to test student. And notice now we have the flashing cursor. Quite obviously, he can edit, and he can edit again. So what's interesting is, is that you could then cr create a, a student that is actually made up of two students with permissions to edit, which is what we do with our groups in uh, at Appleby College. Um, we have a private section within the content library that only the teacher can see, uh, so they can build up lessons and then move it over to the content library. Um, this comes without any kind of uh, permission thing. I mean, we're not saying do this. Um, we're saying that this is how you could experiment and hack with uh, the OneNote class notebook. We're assuming that Microsoft is going to roll these out um, with a real interface. But for those of you who want to dive in a little bit deeper, uh, this is how you would likely try to approach it. Okay. Thanks very much. Uh, hope that helped.